During the pandemic, a wave of unemployment made the world of benefits a prime target for fraud. According to the Labor Department, improper payments amounted to $39 billion nationwide. The bulk of this fraud involved identity theft, but more than 100,000 recipients nationwide reported a different kind of fraud, transaction fraud, where criminals steal the unemployment insurance from their accounts. Our investigation revealed that a cost-saving but outdated technology fueled this type of theft. La, da, 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 whoa, yeah. When schools and venues shut down during the pandemic, the former and part-time music teacher Azurai Moon found himself out of work. I had to actually go on an unemployment insurance. Those benefits were a lifeline until October when he discovered all but a few dollars were stolen. And my entire account was cleared out. It kind of put me in a really difficult situation. Without those funds, Moon became temporarily homeless, living in his car for weeks. To sleep, I would usually kind of like lay against that side of the car and lay my legs over the center console. Moon and millions of other unemployed Americans receive their state benefits through debit cards like these. But they lack chips, a common security barrier against fraud. Still, 45 states plus D.C. use debit cards, mostly without chips, although many also give recipients a direct deposit option. Our investigation found that states like California and Nevada saw an outsized share of stolen benefits during the pandemic because they had a greater reliance on chipless debit cards. A card without a chip, that's really easy to copy. Criminals can then take the duplicate card to an ATM for cash, according to cybersecurity experts such as IBM's Charles Henderson. It's just a matter of picking up a reader writer for the mag stripe and duplicating it, just like a photocopy. And I would presume that it would be impossible to replicate a card with an actual chip on it. It is extremely expensive and cost prohibitive for criminals to manufacture a card with a chip in it. A big reason why these cards had a lower level of security in the first place comes down to cost. California hired Bank of America years ago to distribute unemployment insurance on its behalf. Their contracts show that the state only requested cards with magnetic stripes, not chips. California recently extended its contract with B of A, although the bank tells CNBC it would like to exit this business as soon as possible. That's because the bank says it's lost hundreds of millions of dollars in 2020 alone due to transaction fraud in state benefits. I was like shocked. I couldn't believe it was actually happening to me. Single mom Vanessa Rivera experienced this type of fraud firsthand and blames the bank and the lack of card security. I had to actually break my son's piggy bank. It was sad, but to have my son tell me that he knows that I'm stressing, that he knows that I'm struggling, that was the heartbreaking moment. Rivera, along with fellow single mom Candace Cool and Moon, are part of a class action lawsuit against Bank of America, alleging the firm failed to fully investigate their fraud claims and quickly credit their accounts when the funds were stolen. Together, they say they lost more than $10,000. I developed depression, anxiety. Cool was at the grocery store trying to buy food for herself and her toddler when she discovered the missing funds. I was sobbing. I didn't know what to do because that was her life at that moment. And it was a really scary moment. B of A said in court documents that from October 2020 through March 2021, about 255,000 fraud claims were filed, of which the firm approved repayments to about half. In a statement to CNBC, B of A said that its number one goal has always been to ensure legitimate recipients could access their benefits. What was going on with Bank of America at the time was really exhausting. After months of back and forth, Bank of America gave Moon, Cool and Rivera credit for their missing funds, but they say their lives had already been upended. This is people's lives that you're messing with. This is my life that you're messing with. This is his life, her life. I feel very, like, punched in the gut. Amid our questioning over the last few months, Bank of America and the state of California told CNBC they are in the process of transitioning to chip-based cards. Pending California legislation would also add a direct deposit option for benefits. Bank of America sees this type of work in several states, including Kansas, Maryland, and Nevada in recent months. We called other banks that provide these benefits, including U.S. Bank, Comerica, and KeyBank. Only KeyBank responded, declining to provide any further commentary on fraud incidents due to ongoing investigations, guys. Seems short-sighted not to spend the money on the chip and then end up having to uh, suffer those kinds of losses, potentially. It's the poster child for these types of actions, which oftentimes include cost-saving measures, you know, trying to be prudent on the cost side. But then, you know, when you have a pandemic, you have this massive target on your back for these this type of fraud. Uh, and then in hindsight, yeah.
it would have been a lot cheaper to add those chips in than lose hundreds of millions of dollars on the back end awarding these provisional credits for people who had their accounts wiped out. Also part of just a massive amount of, of noise surrounding the unemployment benefits situation over the last year and a half. I mean, just because the, the volume of, of new claims every week seemed like it was a little higher than you would expect. There's been reports of people trying to kind of hack and game the system, you know, it, it's it's because it, you had the federal component of it and stuff like that. So I think it's going to be a long time until we sort that out. Oh, absolutely. And, and obviously, a lot of these states are playing catch up now. A lot of the banks are playing catch up, trying to, you know, refurbish the technology used to distribute these cards, whether it's through direct deposit or cards with chips in it, uh, bring these things to 2021. Uh, but obviously that doesn't help the people who have been impacted in the past. And, and a lot of the people that we spoke with uh, who have had this happen, you know, they were in really dire situations to begin with. Sure. And then they saw their accounts wiped clean. So it, you're really kind of looking at the most vulnerable aspect of the population. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.